Hi, we're Team 3846 Maelstrom, and this is our robot. We're one of three FTC teams at Middleton High School in Tampa. We have nine members and officially meet twice a week, but we'll meet every day to prepare for an upcoming competition. Our members share duties to help everyone learn faster and to make sure we have a backup in case someone is absent. In assessing the game early on, we determined that being able to score rings efficiently was our number one goal. For our first robot, we made a lift that used two long C-channel pieces as a track for a roller system that was pulled up by a pulley. To extend the lift, we made a fold-out system that flipped up to extend the track to twice the height, allowing us to reach the top pegs. We noticed some problems with our bot at one of our competitions. While it scored fairly well, it was just too easy to defend against as it only weighed about 30 pounds, and the wheels could easily get entangled with another robot. To solve this problem, what we did was we added some more wheels so that we have 12 wheels on the floor at the same time. I mean, we always got nice traction. We added steel bumpers and side panels to protect from ramming and entanglement, and we increased the weight to about 72 pounds, allowing us to push defending robots out of the way while still scoring rings. We weigh more than any robot on that field. I mean, when you get hit by us, you're literally getting hit by a maelstrom. Another problem we discovered with the first robot was that the lift was flimsy, took up a lot of space, and could barely get to the top pegs. The new bot uses the same linear slide idea, but we tiered it. We gave it four tiers to eliminate the fold-out motion and to easily reach the top pegs. By having a rolling surface on all the pulleys and strengthening the axles, we can raise the lift in only four seconds and lower it in two and a half. For the first robot, we used an method to 3D print the claws. While they work fairly well, they're expensive, easy to break, and they're inefficient when grabbing the rings off of the dispenser. We designed a bucket system for the new bot that grabs two rings simultaneously, while still allowing us to score them individually. This design also allows us to add force sensors to detect heavy rings. As head programmer, I'm responsible for making the robot actually do something. For autonomous, we detect the IR sensor and score the ring on the peg in that column that secures the most potential line bonuses. For teleop, we programmed the force sensors so that when the driver presses a button, the appropriate gate on the bucket will rotate if a heavy ring is detected. At the league championship, our new bot scored over 330 in five matches and set the current state record of 544. So far, we have spent about $1,200 on our robot, plus we have $400 in replacement parts. We are within our budget of $2,500 as we have been able to use many parts from last year. If we had to start from scratch, the cost of our robot would be about $2,700. We raise the funds we need through club dues, donations, grants, and other fundraisers. This year, we received a one-time $12,000 Title I grant, which will help us support all of our robotics teams. Our team also just received a $500 donation to purchase needed spare parts. We also hold car washes, with each one earning about $700. Plus, they give us a good opportunity for a community outreach, as we bring our robot to show to people and talk to them about FIRST Robotics. As part of our outreach, we hosted a build-it day for other FTC teams to help them with their design and building. We also hosted a tournament on the same day as Magnet Open House, which allowed hundreds of parents and students to see robotics in action. We also go to middle school and demonstrate the robots to get them interested in joining robotics teams. Last year, Brian and his team came to my middle school and talked about the robotics program, which is why I got interested and also came to Middleton and joined the robotics program. We are working to expand our middle school outreach by arranging to bring students from Stewart and Buchanan Middle Schools to Middleton to work on our robotics team. Our first Stewart students are scheduled to come to work with us starting February 18th. We are Team Maelstrom. We can turn the tide.